Hey everyone, before we go ahead and jump into some advanced questions involving the equation of a circle, make sure that you are familiar with the basics of the standard form equation of a circle and the midpoint and distance formulas. So here we have circle S with a center at 1, 7. It passes through the point negative 5, negative 1, and we want to find its standard form equation. Now we could start by plotting the center at 1, 7 and the point on the circle at negative 5, negative 1. This should help us to visualize what this circle looks like. And to help us understand that the distance between the two given points represents the radius of the circle. Now, to find the standard form equation of circle S, we need two pieces of info, that is the location of the center and the length of the radius. Now the center point was already given at 1, 7, so we can go ahead and fill in those values. Now to find the length of the radius, I'm going to have to use the distance formula to find the length of the line that goes in between those two given points. So I'm going to write down the coordinates of those two points stacked on top of each other, and then fill in the values for x2 and x1, and then y2 and y1. We can continue to evaluate here, negative 5 minus 1 equals negative 6. And over on the right side in parentheses, negative 1 minus 7 equals negative 8. Now I can square both of those values, negative 6 squared equals 36, plus negative 8 squared equals 64. 36 plus 64 equals 100. And finally, the square root of 100 equals 10. That is our radius, which we can go ahead and put right up into the formula. And 10 squared just equals 100. And now we have our standard equation of circle S. Now in our next example, we're told that line segment AB is the diameter of circle P. And again, we want to find circle P's standard equation. Now we want to visualize what this circle looks like. So let's start by plotting points A and B, A at negative 7, 5, and B at 3, negative 3, and constructing line segment AB. Now since AB is a diameter, those are endpoints that are on the circle. And since this question is asking for the standard equation of the circle, we're going to need to know the center of that circle and the length of its radius. Now we don't know the location of the center of this circle, but we do know that the center of the circle will be directly in the middle of the diameter such that it cuts it into two congruent halves. So we're going to use the midpoint formula to find the location of the center of circle P. So we're going to take the coordinates of points A and B and substitute the corresponding values into the midpoint formula for x1, x2, and y1, y2. Now negative 7 plus 3 equals negative 4. 5 plus negative 3 equals positive 2. Then just cut those values in half to get the coordinates of the center of circle P at negative 2, positive 1. Now we can go ahead and throw those x and y coordinates right up into the equation. Remember that we have to change the sign so the double negative becomes positive. So on the left side in parentheses we have x plus 2. Now if we plot that center point P, we can see that line PB is a radius. And that's the length that we need to complete the equation of this circle. And to find the length of a line segment, we use distance formula. So same process here. We take points P and B, and we put the corresponding values into the distance formula and then evaluate. Now on the left set of parentheses, 3 minus negative 2 becomes positive 5. On the right side, negative 3 minus 1 equals negative 4. Squaring those will lead us to 25 plus 16 which equals 41, and the square root of 41 is approximately 6.4, which is the length of our radius. So we can push that up into our formula. 6.4 squared is approximately 40.96, which we can round up to 41, and now we have the standard equation of circle P. Now for our final example, we are given circle P with a center at 6, negative 3, and we're also told that circle P is tangent to the y-axis, and again, we want to find the standard equation of that circle. 
Now again, let's create a diagram so that we can visualize what's going on here. So we have the center of the circle at 6, negative 3. And we know that it's tangent to the y-axis. Now the question is, what exactly does that mean? Now a tangent line hits a circle at one spot, only one time. So if we think of our circle radiating out from point P, it's going to continue moving until it hits that tangent line, and then we'll stop it because it only can hit it one time. And now we have a point that's on the circle at 0, negative 3. Now since we want the equation of this circle, the two pieces of info that we are going to need is the location of the center and the length of the radius. Now the center we know is at 6, negative 3 that was given, so we can put those x and y values into the formula. Now remember that the y minus negative 3 becomes y plus 3 inside the parentheses. And now to find the length of the radius, I can simply count how many units the point on the tangent line is away from the center of circle P. In this case, 6 units, the length of our radius. So I'll go ahead and take that value of 6, put it right up into the formula, and of course 6 squared just equals 36, and now we have the equation of circle P.